Hi there, it's Tanya from Tutty Treasures. So I'm back for another week of the winter woodland. I'm just going to do some little projects today. Don't know how many will get done. Um, I want to keep it really at the 40 minute mark. So I'll possibly just turn off at 40 and then do it as a as a part two. So first we have got some CD envelopes. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to make these into some flip outs. I'm just going to do one on camera and then I'll pause and finish the rest off. So I've got these lovely die cuts what Violet's done for me. We've got this lovely one with the deers and the silhouette of the trees and then we've got some Christmas trees so I'm going to layer it up with that um, I'm going to do it that it flips out that way and I'm going to stamp over the top I could do with something to hold this down because it keeps flipping flipping up um, yeah so we're going to just make a plainish tag for the inside i've just got some some of the kit this is the artemis kit that i'm using so i'm just going to cut that down to fit inside uh the pocket so i don't know what size they are let's have a, have a measure it is five is it five yeah five by five so you can just get the, the little table one in and I have to cut the edges off first like that and we'll go five might have to just cut a smidge enough for it to fit fit in but maybe once we round the corners uh, that might be enough I just straight, straighten that up so we'll go five keep that for some tag or something later um, I'll cut them all now even though I'm not going to do them all on camera so I'm doing four of them because these are going to go inside um, the little envelope uh, packs that I'm making I did show it you on one of the um, videos when I was using the after midnight kit um, save all those because come in handy let me just do do the other one um yeah so i'm doing four four of those so i wanted to do four of everything that paper's just come up maybe i'll be able to cut that out so let's go So I'm just going to cut that off. Oh, please don't set fire to everywhere. Right. Yeah, I'm not liking just putting this black mat down. It's not very stable at all. So I might have to think of something else, but... Yeah, I took the glass one totally off because um, I'm sick of it having to hide, hide the ring of the, the light. It doesn't look very, very good. So that's five. Let me just cut that bit off. That's really not straight. What's that? Save that. So like my mind went blank then. Oh dear, I don't think that's gonna fit. <laughs> I'll have to straighten. No, it's 
it's going to be a little bit too too small, but I'll see what see what it looks like. Right, so that's them. Okay, I've just got the slate mat back out. So I've got these lovely um, Tim Holtz stamps. Um, they're called the Damask ones, Distress Damask, which the lovely Carol sent me. So I'm going to stamp on the front. I'm going to ink around to the side. So I'm going to ink round with the grey, and I think I'll go in with the darker one. I'll just go in with this small one, I think. I don't know if to do. No, I think I'll just do do one. So just pretty random. I might go in with the other colour and something else. We shall see. It's a bit hippie, um, like boho. Right, let's get a, a wipe and clean that window before it dries. Okay, um, I'll go around the edges with the grey and see what see what that looks like. a little bit in fact I might go all the way yeah that looks better I do want to keep a, a lot of it in in white because I do think it really goes with with the kit because as much as there is you know black and brown and stuff in it is mainly mainly white so that will do that still got us to that side right let's see if this will fit in it's too big anyway. <laughs> right, let me just get that back out. Just take it down a little bit. And a little bit on the top. Okay, um, I've just stamped that bit and inked around there. I've inked around the journal card and rounded the edge off. I went in with a 10 millimeter corner punch. So that's the actual envelope. It will be stuck in there so you won't see that bit and it will flip, flip out. That is um, the intention for it. But obviously, it's up to whoever whoever has it um because the these are going, going to go in one of the envelopes so it's just going to be all different pieces of, of ephemera in there so then it's whoop, up to the individual how they how they use that so that's that. I'm going to back it with some lime paper in case, um, well, so you're able to journal at the back of that. So I can just tear that down. Okay, I'll just do it inwards from the, from the sides and then we'll go around there. So that's that. I'll just give this a little link. I'm using the London Fog in the Momentous Dew Drops. Really do like this grey. Um, it's, it's gone really well with the blue. Um, and I'll definitely use it 
in the spring when when I do the uh, blue and birds. I think it goes very very nice. So that's that. Make sure it's on the right side. I think I will just glue stick this down because it's it's only paper just on under GSM uh, copy paper. This is a lined piece out of the Artemis kit. And then we'll just place that on there. That's that. If any hasn't stuck down, I will just go go around with my art glitter. So that's the front. Um, I've covered all the pieces up that I was going to do it with. Now I'm going to put this on here. So I'll use the art glitter glue. And hopefully it will stick down on the acetate. Okay, I think it will. Yeah, such little pieces. Yeah, I really do like these silhouettes. Yep, throwing it away, not so much I like it. Right, hopefully that will be enough. Make sure that's straight. Let me put my glasses on. No gas, they're on top of my head. Right, that's that. I'm just going to trim this here, that writing paper from the back's just, just sticking, sticking over a little bit. That's it. So, that's that down. Then I'm going to put the trees down. I'm just going to have those over this side. And again, I'll stick these down. If I have got any of the pieces left when I've finished um, doing the winter, I will put the dies um, in. I want to go more that side. Um, I, yeah, I'll bundle them up and put them, put, put them in the shop because it'd be a shame to just keep them um, for a whole year because I'm obviously not I, not going to use them again because they are very wintry. So we'll put that on there, like so. Right, and I was just going to put a little bit of, of glitter on. I don't know if to put one of the... No, I think they're a little bit too big. If they were smaller, they'd have probably gone, gone really nice. Um, I'm looking for the glitter. I've moved everything around today. It's, um, I don't know why we do it. <laughs> I've moved everything around. Well. We just can't find anything. Um, and obviously I moved everything around to, to help. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of the stickers, so I'll just put it on my finger and I'm just going to brush over, over the trees just to give it a little bit of sparkle. So it's only really faint, but I think once the the light catches it, I don't know if you're able to see it in the in the camera at all. 
so that's one um i'll pause now and do do the other ones in fact i've just noticed i've got these bows i think i'm gonna put them them on um that looks beautiful so i've got a couple of really dark ones i'm not so keen on the dark one on there that one looks nice and i like that one not so keen on that on there Ooh. I think they all, I know they're not all totally different colours. So yeah, keep those two out. So I think I might put the pale one on and then I'm going to do two, another CD in the dark and then I'm going to do two pale, paler ones and put the dark bows on those. So they've got an adhesive on them at the back but I'm just going to get the tail part just so it doesn't stick stick up and I'm going to get a little bit at the back that's it so that's lovely okay I'm back I've done them so I decided to go around the edges in the blue stickers it's beautiful blue I can't see what it's called but um, yeah it's like a really bright bright blue so I've gone around the edges in that and then the middle I've done the sparkly unicorn glitter so I've got two in the dark blue and two in the light blue so I really like how they've turned out if you've not got die cuts and that you can do it with fussy cuts and even if you've got some old Christmas cards cut up and things like that or cut out of digitals so I'm sure you can do do something very similar so I really like those so that's one thing to go in the pouches so the pouches and these aren't finished by any means are the Amazon um, envelope and I just sewed them um, I put some acrylic, let's show you the back, I put some uh, acrylic paint on what's got a metallic and then I stamped all over it, inked all around the edges um, and I've just decoupaged the front. I've saved one to do on on film but I wanted to get these to a certain um, place so we can do one and carry on working on one what's dry kind of thing. So there's a house one and an owl one. Then they're going to have some lace pockets at the front of them. Um, and probably like a ruffle down down the back. So these things are to go go inside it. So that's those. But I've just done that this morning, so it's it's nearly dry. Right. So next. I have got some white envelopes. Um, Violet made me these. They're a lovely um, size. I think she used a die for these. So they're five and a half by just over two and a half. So really nice shape. And then I've got these silhouette um, dies. So I think I'm going to um, stencil across them and I think I'm going to do it in the, in the floral one, shall I? Yeah, I quite fancy doing the, the floral one. So let's do that. Um, I think I'm going to do it in this the bright blue I really do like that bright blue just checking that I've got it the right way so let's load this up wow that, that's dark <laughs> that's come out very dark I think I cut these upside down uh, last night so all the inks juiced up to the 
to the top. Oh, but that's lovely. So I'll do the fronts. Yep. But again, if you've got no um, dies, you can obviously put put anything on the front, just pieces of the of the kit. I will be doing things with the kit. I just wanted to do um, other things first. So I thought I would use these lovely uh, dies up. So I don't know what dies everything's come out of um you know what sets and and things like that and that's that one and then okay i'll do the backs of them um, off camera but um yeah i'm gonna do the same at the back and then open the flap up and do do underneath so i'll keep that out um i think i'm just gonna go in with some sparkle now i've got sparkly fingers we might as well just um just go for it <laughs> um i'm just gonna dob it around let's probably do two at a time actually and then i'll we'll just Oh, sorry if you can hear me like chumpling. I've I've put some gum in my mouth. Um, I need to get some lozenges because um, finding in in winter filming um just keep drying drying up my throat and I start coughing and and things. So I'm yeah, trying to just keep keep some moisture going. So that's that. more sticking on the hand I suppose are you supposed to go in like like this I suppose that's fine when you're doing small small areas it's just going on a few of the petals I say a lot of it's going to be covered up by the by the silhouette of the house. Really do love that blue colour. Right, so that is that. I don't know, if I should have inked over them first. I'm not gonna ink over them now because it'll just smudge all the thing. Um, now I'm gonna cut this end bit off I'm gonna cut it just there let's get the art glitter glue out did I just hit the camera sorry about that it's the only thing with um, my things all being over there um, if I'm not looking as I'm bringing them over um, I'll just hit the camera so we'll pop, pop that just across there. But yeah, I think if you've saved your old Christmas cards and that, I think this would be really nice, all the little cut up bits. I did that um, last Christmas. I'd saved all my Christmas cards up and things. And it was surprising that, uh, oh, and I got all my family to save them as well. So I made some quite nice, nice things. Ink around the side. So that's that's that one. Just really quick and simple. Like I say, I will do the backs um, off camera. So I'll do another one and then I'll pause again because, like I say, I know no point in you seeing the same same things. But because I'm making four, it seems silly me just making uh, one. 
and then coming back to it later and making the others. Let me cut that off. That's that. So I'll go around here. So, and this, I love how that grey bleeds into the paper. Let me just cut, stick this card on. That's it. Right, I shall pause again. Okay, I'm back. So, they're all stuck on and all the backs. Oh, I done, apart from that one. <laughs> oh, I've just put everything away for that. Right, I'll have to do that. So, I've cut some... Um, backing paper and this is from uh shabby blue which is a kit by my porch prince it's not a christmas kit it's um it, it's really like a blue floral kit but it's got a lot of backing papers so i've cut those to size for the envelopes and i've inked around with the london fog and i was just kind of messing about with these banners from out of the artie mays kit and i don't know if to put one of those on the journal cards and then have um you know another card that you can take out um oh i was just gonna see if my punch had oh just stretch it would um this is my biggest punch so this is a two inch i think these are a little bit bigger i've been looking to get a two and a half inch but they start getting expensive when they get big so i'm just gonna oh, cut that off and i didn't no see i was hoping maybe if it was two and a half inch um and it could still go there and be like a, a tuck spot i was h hoping the circle would be bigger uh, so it was a bit like a pocket, but um, yeah, I'm not so not so keen on that. What about at the top? I prefer it at the top. So let me find um. Think I'll do two of each. So let's punch that out. That's that. And then oh yes. Those. Let me put those back in my basket. I'll just get that ink out and ink around these little banners. I had kept them uh, double because I was going to turn them into uh, altered paper clips. But if I want to do them later on, I can always print some more out. But I like to use the pieces as as I think about them. Otherwise. You end up not using them and then you get to the end and you're like, oh, I didn't use all those. So I'm not sure what tags I'm going to have under first. Let's just put that there. So get the art glitter glue out. So if it's going up in this top corner and say it was something like that. You kind of just want that top portion sticking down. That's, that's better. I'll just leave that to, to dry a little bit. Same with that one. Yeah. 
I just want to go and wash my hands. <laughs> I'm a bit of a sticky, inky, glittery uh, mess. So that's those two. And then we'll put the flags on. So if that was there. So I think we'll go like that. I think I'm going to do that but to the edge and then I'll come in and with the corner around her just round that off probably just get it with my scissors actually so and that's that and this one and I had got some stickers out. Um, they were some that I just got off um, Etsy. And I think I just sticked, uh, sticked in. Put in um, winter stickers, winter washi stickers. So that's that. Um, so let's put the stickers down at the the bottom just to give it a bit more interest. I don't want to put anything else on it because obviously they are going in in those envelopes and they're not the biggest envelopes. Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to peel these off with my awful hands. Oh, got it. just moulded nice into the paper that's the same so I'll put that one on there can't see me other sticker I can see that one over there oh, I thought I'd got it come on So I think we'll leave it at two projects for today's video and then I'll do another two videos. Uh, well, not two videos, two, two projects for, for tomorrow. Because I think, apart from kit pieces, I think I'm making six pieces um, to go in those um, little, I don't know if, well, it's envelopes aren't they really, but they look like little clutches. Got it. Oh, stuck to me. Right, where's, where's the other one? Ah, oh no, that's the back. Ah, I've got it. I've put it back in with a ephemera. So they're all the same apart from that one. I think there was only two different directions of. Of deers in the pack. So I think we are looking at, are we looking at wanting that kind of size or... Or that kind of size I think probably that kind of size so let's have a um, these are all the little tiny pieces I've cut most of the things out but um, there is odd bits that I've not cut out so that would be the right size I don't want it going landscape we need a portrait Size. Oh, there's a fox one there. It's probably a little bit too big. I have printed the kit out in in different sizes, like one to a page, two to a page, four to a page kind of thing. Right. So if I've 
か。smaller one might be better under the circle yeah right let me just give them a little ink ink round when I turn the camera off I must finish that envelope before before I forget and move on so that's that one Printed all the ephemera out on 200 uh, GSM. So these aren't, they're not, they're still quite um, thin, but you know, they're plenty thick enough. If there was big cards, then I would um, back them as well. But little things that I find are fine on 200 GSM. They have all been printed on. Um, Ali the Cockney Crafters um, da, da, da. tea and coffee stained kit so I do, I do really like that one so that's that one now do they fit in the envelopes so that's one <laughs> Two. Keep that one that side to, to remind me. Three. And four. So that's those. So we've got these four. And we've got the the CDs like so so that's me for now thank you very much for joining me I'll speak to you soon bye for now